Friends, welcome to my next research video, Tips for Effective Presentation During PhD Viva Wars. Viva Wars is the final stage in our research. If you successfully complete your Viva Wars, and your journey of PhD will uh, successfully complete. And most of the people will have a lot of fear and anxiety about Viva Wars. And that's why this presentation will give you the tips to make effective presentation, how you need to present yourself during the Viva Wars exam. And in one of my previous video, I have given, I have talked about how to prepare PowerPoint presentation. This will, video will give you how to present that PowerPoint presentation in an effective way. And to get more research related videos, please do not forget to subscribe my YouTube channel and click the bell icon so that you will get the uh, notification when I post my next video. And very importantly, please leave your comments about the video. And if you have any suggestion, um, you can please leave it in the comment box. And importantly, you can find links of my other research related videos. And that will, there are a wide range of research videos available. Those things you can find it from my, uh, no, the links are given in the description box. Please make use of it. And this is the channel. It has a lot of topics about the research related videos. And this presentation will include 10 tips for effective presentation during PhD Viva Wars. It's very simple, 10 effective tips. Before Viva Wars exam, very importantly, you need to strong, strongly prepare yourself. That is, you need to read your work multiple times. You have to be really thorough about what is there in your research. Well, because I know that it's a uh, no, long journey, probably minimum three years to four years you could have done it. So what you have done in the beginning, you probably certain things you could have forgotten. That's why you have to read your own uh, thesis multiple times to understand nook and corner of a thesis. That is very important to face the, to, you know, when you present it, it will help you a lot. And another important thing, be aware of the limitation of your research work so that whenever there is a question based on the uh, the, the limited uh, areas of your research and definitely you'll be able to answer the question up to the presentation. In case you are not aware what are the things you have not covered in your research, then you will be in a very big trouble after the presentation because people will bombard you with a lot of questions, you will not be able to answer. That's why you have a complete clear cut idea about the entire limitations of your research work. And after preparation, uh, no, as I already told you that you have in the other video I have talked about how to prepare a PowerPoint presentation. So after the effective PowerPoint presentation, after you know it is all done, then you have to do a mock Viva OC. Mock Viva OC exam probably you may you may do two to three rehearsals and record your presentation and identify errors and update every time. That means. As, as I know you are look you are seeing my video similarly you can open it the PowerPoint you can record your own Viva OC and you can check after the complete recording you can play it again you can check definitely you will understand a lot of mistakes uh, maybe a lot of errors a lot of areas where you can really improve upon so improve on that thing probably you have to do it not only once you have to do minimum two to three times and update all those what you call the your, your own self feedback Next, you give mark viva to your guide and friends and get their feedback. Probably before even you go to guide, you can give the mark viva to your friends. You can ask some of your friends to come together and ask them to sit in a place where you can present uh, the, the entire presentation as a viva. And you can ask them to bombard you with a lot of questions, whether you can able to answer the question. Uh, you have to prepare. So based on their questions, you can prepare certain things so that you'll be able to really answer well during original Viva uh, OC examination. And another important thing, you have to prepare answers for expected questions in your Viva. You know, after the presentation, you know very well that based on your research, what are the probable questions may, may come uh, in the Viva OC exam? You have to make a detailed list probably how much, whatever the number of questions, maybe 10, 20 or 50, just to prepare all those questions and what are the possible answers what are the references you have in your research work and you just to prepare in a detailed way and you just just you go through those uh, question and your list of question and answer also that will definitely help you after the presentation when you face the questions it will help you definitely to f defend your uh, what you call uh, thesis in a very effective way. And now comes uh, exactly uh, tips during my presentation 
how you need to present first thing you need to remember that already your thesis has been evaluated by two examiners maybe one uh, local examiner or one international examiner and they have accepted your research that's why you are in viva varsity today it means that you have already 80% you have completed your work now your journey is over so you go and you present in that with that confidence if it is not simply just it is starting point it is end point so that you need to know that you have already done well and you are presenting a viva so that you are in a last thing so don't have any anxiety or uh, probably fear nervousness please keep those these things in your mind so that you will not get anxiety and very importantly and make sure that in case your examiners have asked a lot of questions and all those things please make sure that you are you have incorporated those things in your presentation you should address those questions well in advance before the examiner ask you the question in case they have given you in the report they have asked you to clarify certain area make sure that that area reflects in your presentation also and next thing as i already told you it's a last step uh, of your success so face it with a 100% confidence and third thing success in the viva is mostly guaranteed see it, it is very very rare people are you know rejecting after the viva oc uh the, the no they'll they'll dismiss the uh, thesis or they'll they'll dismiss the viva again you have to reappear for viva it's very very rare but it doesn't mean that you can do any any rubbish stuff so it is success in the viva is mostly guaranteed unless it is a very very poor presentation if it is a good presentation definitely success it will be success success in the viva is mostly guaranteed when when it is a very poor presentation nothing can be done and another important thing whatever you present in our viva oc be confident and bold during the presentation because you have to speak in, a, in that confidence so that they'll understand they'll believe that it is your work and if you speak in a doubt you no know, doubtful way and if you speak in a very feeble voice or something the people will think that you, you know they'll they'll doubt about your, your research also that's why you have to be very confident because when you speak confident it is the clear cut message that you have done your work very effectively and very importantly when to add flavor to a presentation give sufficient pauses wherever necessary don't be too don't don't too speed no when you deliver don't be too speed or do too slow and whenever there is a pause required you emphasize and give a detail kind of you know the, the intonation and use those kind of non para no para para verbal features so that your presentation become really really factor and very importantly you have to be really focused to give inform information with utmost clarity especially in the research objectives area the analysis section your contribution and findings and and so on see remaining introduction literature review it may even if it is not so clear it will not affect but when when you were talking about your research methodology objectives and your discussion analysis your contribution findings it should be crystal clear no one should have any doubt on these things and you have to present in a such a way so that give a, extra care on these uh, slides whatever the slides what are the, the whatever the slides i uh, don't talk about this component please be doubly cautious be very careful give utmost clarity and do not be nervous and anxious during presentation even though you are nervous and anxious please do not show it during your presentation how to avoid uh, how to overcome those things if you are really tensed take a sip of water whenever necessary have a sufficient water with you nothing wrong in whenever you feel no you 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 have got a dry mouth dry mouth you need to take a sip of water it will you will get a salivate salivate yourself and you will be able to present very well because normally when you are in stressed tensed you get dry mouth dry mouth it will not let you to speak properly you will not be able to pronounce the words properly so that when you sip the water it will you know it will become a fluid and the words will come you know easily and another thing neither be too fast or nor too slow neither be too fast not too slow because you have to use optimum delivery speed where you know delivery speed which 
which is really uh, comprehensible to the uh, no, attendees, those who are attending five hours. And the last important thing, maintain proper eye contact with the audience. And you, when you, when you speak in that way, absolutely, uh, sometime when you do a such kind of effective presentation, even your mistakes will be over it. So people don't mind about because when you when you give a stunning presentation, even you have made some mistake, they don't mind about it because your presentation will cover all those things. That's why giving effective presentation during YOC is the it guarantees the success. That's why you have to be very careful about these things. You just follow these ten, ten tips, and absolutely nobody can deny the success in the biggest YOC exam. I hope this video is helpful to you. If you like this video, please do not forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. And importantly, I'll be, I'll love to hear your comments about this video and leave the comments. I'll meet you in the next video. Bye bye.